Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Sticks in Charge. Hold on you all. And you know on this channel, we gotta do a quality control check. Make sure you know boogies, no eye boogies. My hair messed up, but don't worry about it. So everybody, you saw the other, the, the, uh, technical difficulties. Hold on, your ass is supposed to be lit. Why aren't you lit? God, you're fired. Hold on. I'm back. This is what happens when you are a YouTuber and a drunk. Balkan cranberry juice. So these are the fried potatoes and onions that I made earlier today, everybody. Now you all know this from Zen Sunday. Y'all know Zen Sunday, I'm a sinner. So I'm going to sit up here and burn my hind pots up. Uh, I, you guys, I love spice. You know what? If you like spice, does that mean you're going to hell? I mean, I like heat. Hey, I hope not. You guys, if you're a diabetic, don't do this, please. Yes, I'm a diabetic too. If I keep eating like this, I'm going to look like a crackhead boot banger, okay? With no damn um, legs or arms trying to eat. Oh, God, you guys. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. And you guys, it's, it's not milk. You all see this? Play this heavy. It's not mushy. So when you make fried potatoes and onions, don't put too many in the pot. If you put too many in that pot, it will get mushy. Guys, life is so good. I always say this. Life is so beautiful to be so ugly. It really is. Mm, mm, mm. You guys, I don't have a happy hour at my house. Invite my close friends and family. I do. I want to do something. You know, you all, it's very good to have people who really care and love you. And that's the key. You guys, these potatoes are so good. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, this is TMI. I'm eating all this spice because I'm constipated. I know some of you all don't like it when I say that, but on my channel, I keep it real. I don't understand why people shy away from taboo topics. We all do it, so what's the problem? Nah. This is so good. You guys, my seafood video is coming up. It's gonna happen. I gotta find the right size pipes. I have to. You know what, you all? The fact that you all watch my videos and support me, I really, really, really appreciate it. I really do. Oh, I shaved. So. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, I have more potatoes in the pot upstairs. Mm, 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 mm. It's not greasy. I hate greasy potatoes. I really do. I really, really do. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, 
this is my first meal today and my only meal today. I think I'm gonna clean my kitchen up. I need some beer and wine, y'all. My house is dry. Well, I have vodka. So, liquor wise, I drink tequila, vodka, or hand sanitizer. The last one, I don't drink hand sanitizer. I'm just, that was a joke. And don't you do that. It's not good for you. It does freshen your breath if it stinks. Just, I done told you all I'm crazy. You guys, why is it as a diabetic, rice, pasta, and potatoes is bad for us? That's what I like. Why can't it be we can't have beef or pork? I don't eat beef. I don't eat pork. So why can't it be that you can't have beef or pork? I'd be okay with that. Little clients, I apologize for not making your party. Boo told me all about it this morning. So I'm sorry. I apologize. Shout out to Tammy. You all, I was invited to a um, cookout, but I couldn't do it. It's quarter in at work. So I stayed home. I'm glad I did. I got a lot of work done. In my career, you all, all jokes aside, I miss a lot of family stuff. Oh. I miss birthdays, graduations. I miss a lot of stuff. Part of it, because of the stuff going on in my family, part of it, I just couldn't do it. Yeah. That's life. That is life. Well, you know, Wherever you are in your life right now, you all, don't care what it is, make the best of it. Please make the best of it. And do not let these material things go to your head, okay? I always say that. Oh my God, I'm getting full. Oh, by the way, this video is filmed on Sunday. This is my second Vulcan Cranberry. It's kind of weak. No, I'm not an alcoholic. I'm a drunk. You guys don't take what I say seriously now. I can tell you I'm not right. I'm crazy. In a fun kind of way, though. I like to have fun. I like to, I just like to um, just have a good time. I really do. I really, really, really do. But you all, my work is demanding. Well. I shouldn't say that. It's demanding because a lot of my work that I do, you all, is self-imposed. Um, that's because I'm anal. I like stuff to be done right. And I'm detail-oriented. You all, one of my close friends, she is expecting. She's having a son. By the way, what's your son's name? You didn't tell me that when I saw you at Chef D's house. Mm, mm, mm. You guys, I'm, I gotta figure out why I'm not, I can't gain weight. I don't know what it is, you guys, but you know what? Hold on. Lord, I think about it. 
You guys, I can eat whatever I want. I don't gain weight. Maybe I should walk around constipated so I can be bigger. I don't know. Walking in a pack full of stew, stomach bloated. I might fit my clothes better if I did that. But I just don't understand why I can't. I'm not. Listen, I'm glad to have this problem. Trust and believe me. I am. You guys, uh, I got to get my teeth clean. So, mm, that is an onion potato. So, you guys, if you're new to my channel, I spent 10 grand out of pocket for my mouth. That does not include the insurance page. So, let me explain to you. Okay, so. If you meet me and you want to F me up, mm -mm, hit me from the neck down. Don't touch the teeth, please. It costs me too much money. So the tooth back here, number 19, is fake. Out of pocket. Well, let's not go that. Well, yeah, I got to go that first. I'm going to go in the order. So I get my teeth clean. Done. I get my teeth clean every six months, okay? Do I pay? I, the only cold pay that I pay you all it cost me $25. That's to get the fluoride treatment on my teeth. Outside of that, I don't have a copay. So I think the teeth cleaning, I don't know what it is. I don't pay for it. Um, second thing I did was I get my x-rays done every year. One time a year. I get my teeth cleaned at least twice a year. Sometimes max is four. But at least two. So I forget the year. It was definitely before the pandemic. I had tooth number 19 pulled because that tooth was infected. I know. Don't know how, but. So when they took that tooth out, it cost me almost two grand just to extract that tooth out of my mouth. So I was put under, they took it out, um, and I went to the Philippines. So it was 2019 to be exact, I remember. You all? After that surgery, my, that opening my mouth, it smelled like S-H-I-T. I said, oh, hell no. Mm -mm. Everything the doctor told me to do, I did it. I was extra because I don't like bad breath. So I got that done. So I had to wait, I want to say six weeks later. Or was it three months? But there was a time between when they took the tooth out, I had to go back to the oral um, surgeon to put the, um, this time I was not under. So the, the dentist put the, um, it's like a screw. Well, take it back. They took a drill, they drilled in my bone, everybody. They drilled in my bone and they put this little, um, it's not a screw, but it's, take, just, just say a screw. So the implant can screw on there. So take a screw, the part where you screw into the wall, it was sticking up. Other part went down in, the, in my gums. They stuck it in my gums and I was wide awake. I don't know what kind of drug this was. That'd be one time I said, oh, I like this. Because he was drilling. He said, okay, if you feel anything, let me know so that I can stop. And so he was drilling. I mean, you all, that man, he was not a big dude. Well, everybody's big compared to me. That man, um, had a wrench, was tightening that sucker up. I mean, he was like tightening it up. I could not feel a thing. It was like unreal. But you cannot put sticks in charge in a hygiene place, okay? Not hygiene place, in a place where I can look at your hygiene. So they put me across the room from where they clean the dental utensils. So when they did that in my mouth, everybody, they numb me. They put these two things in my mouth. It kept my mouth open like this. It was, I couldn't talk. And it was very hard to swallow because your muscles, everything was like numb. And you kind of lean back. I'm like, okay, what if I choke? Well, not laid back, but you know, lean back some. Um, and and the, the, the dental hygienist, they was bringing the you know, utensils from other patients back there. I said, oh Lord. I said, I hope they don't put no contaminated 
contaminated utensil in my mouth because it'd be a lawsuit. And then, then when I got the implant put in, oh, by the way, to get the implant put in was like another two grand. So to teeth, this one tooth was five grand. Then I got Invisalign, everybody. So hold on. So my teeth, this is Invisalign. My Invisalign was 18 months. Thank God it was during the pandemic. I wore the Invisalign trays um, for me, because you know I'm excessive. I wore my Invisalign trays, I think, between 20 and 22 hours of the day. I only eat one meal a day. And they told me the more you wore your, you know, it's not a retainer. I, I wear a retainer now. But what they put in your teeth is not called a retainer. It's the actual mold of your teeth. Okay? You know, the shape and everything. And I had a total, was it 18 different, um, you know, it's like braces. Two weeks, you put that down go to the next one. I think it's every two weeks. Yes, every two weeks. But when you first put the, now... I'm switching gears again. Invisalign, I never experienced pain from Invisalign. I never. But what I will say is, is I didn't want to do braces because braces, I can't do it, all that wiring and stuff. No. Invisalign, you pop those suckers out, eat, brush your teeth, and pop those suckers back in. And my teeth were never really, really crooked. Depending upon how your teeth looks, they might tell you, you are not a good candidate for Invisalign. You may have to go to braces. It all depends. My mouth was, my teeth were fairly straight. And Invisalign, oh, before I got Invisalign, I did have my teeth bleached before. But Invisalign, it was part of my, the money that I paid. So I got that done. So now every night before I go to bed, I wear my retainers. Now, I'm not going to lie. The retainers, sometimes everybody, the retainers you wear a year. So I got four years worth. I'm on year two. two. Is it two or three? Anyway, I wear them every night before I go to bed. And when I wake up, I pop them out. You cannot drink. You cannot eat. The only thing you can do with the retainer on is drink water because it doesn't stain. But outside of that, no. So every morning I wake up, I take the retainers out. You know, brush my teeth, do the whole routine. You know, then if I go to bed, you brush your teeth, put the pretenders back in, you know. But even if you wear braces, anytime you have cosmetic surgery done on your mouth, unless it's, um, I'm not sure how um, veneers work, but veneers, they shave your teeth there. I wanted veneers. Veneers are very expensive. My dentist wouldn't do it. Veneers back then it was like a thousand dollars, at least a thousand dollars. Well, about a grand per tooth, not teeth per tooth. And veneers are not permanent. It depends on your diet. They can last as much as ten years, but you still got to go back and get it redone. I'm not shaving my teeth down, everybody. I'm the kind of person I am not doing. First of all, I don't knock. Whatever cosmetic surgery you want to do to your body, I'm not talking to you. I'm saying me. I can't do that. Only thing I would do cosmetically is, is make my teeth super, super white without this veneer crap. You know, because my teeth, y'all. And by the way, when you eat like hot sauce, spaghetti, whatever, that stuff and drink coffee and tea, that stains your teeth. I'm gonna get my teeth bleached again, though. I'm gonna get it bleached. Yep. So that's why you see me drinking red stuff with a straw. You all done ran my damn mouth so much. I wish the backside was running so I can go to the bathroom, but I know some of us, I know people say, we don't wanna hear all that. Well, that's just how I do on this channel. On this channel, we got to keep it real. We're human beings. We all do it. Got kids at home, talk about sex. It's okay. We all got to get through sex. Stop shying away from that topic. You know? So, I'm going to sign out this video because your boy got to get back to work. Whatever it is you do on this Sunday, mind your own damn business and go to church. 
and keep folk out of your business and you stay out of other folks' business. I know you're nosy because I put my stuff. And you should be. I'm on YouTube. You have the, you actually, you have the right to get in my business because I put my life out there. But I love the, I, but I love it though. Come to Papa. But no, I'm going to sign up, you guys. Have a blessed day. Enjoy this life. You only get one. Whatever you're going through in this life, make it better. Learn the lesson, though. Move past it. And hold up. Yeah, move past it. I said it right. And just make the best of life. So I hope to see you all in my next video. And I love you guys. Good night. Obviously, I cannot sing. I can cuss somebody out. No, I got a, I got a very nasty mouth. Very nasty. So you all get off my thing before I, the devil starts spinning his damn head up here. Then y'all gonna subscribe to my channel. <laughs> y'all better get the hell. Get off my channel. I'm about to spin. You all are so hard headed. I said get off my video. Don't drink and spin. Bye.